Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika. In today's video, I am going to be testing out the Kmart Hollywood Mirror. So in my recent Kmart haul, I showed you this mirror and oh my god was I excited. <laughs> I've just pulled it up online here, so it's called the Small Hollywood Mirror. It retails for $59. The size of it is 32 centimeters wide and 46 centimeters high. It has 12 Hollywood style LED lights with three color light settings. You've got cool, warm, and natural. The LED lights are dimmable. It has touch sensor switch controls and... That's pretty much about it. Oh, it also comes with a 12 month warranty. That is good. So I've been having a look around online and if you're after one of those big Hollywood mirrors, they retail for $200 plus. Maya does have a few desk size Hollywood mirrors for around 80 to hundred dollars. So they are easily accessible, but you all know when Kmart comes out with something, it's obviously the best. So what I'm going to do in this video is just show you my little setup. Not everybody is going to have this kind of setup because I use it for filming, obviously. So I'm going to turn off my big lights. I'm going to shut my blinds so there's no natural light. I'll plug in this baby. I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to do my makeup in it and see if it's really good or not. Yeah, okay. We've got instructions and a piece of plastic. Okay, so it seems pretty easy. You've got the base here, which also has a bit of a tray in it, so you can sit products in it. This is the mirror, and it just clips onto the base. That's it, easy peasy. The mirror also moves. How good's that? Yes. Oh, it's not a very long cord. So there's a hole in the back here that you just put the cord through. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to get my extension cable. All right, so I've got it plugged in. Shut the windows. Oh my god. Okay. I am pumped. So, to adjust the brightness, press and hold the on off switch. Press and hold. Wow. And then press it again, it turns off. Press it again, it turns on to full brightness. <laughs> okay, now for the color lights. So, there are three types of lights, which I believe is this button here. So that's your warm. Ooh, very warm. Cool. And natural. Wow. The only time this is going to be a problem for me is when I'm actually filming, but for day-to-day -day use, this is going to be fantastic because I usually turn on these two big soft boxes every morning and it's quite unnecessary, but it gives me really good lighting. So just having this for the day-to-day. -day... All right, so I'll just give you a close-up as well. This is what the mirror looks like. Little switch, it's gonna be bright. And so if I sit directly in front of it, this is the kind of light that it gives off. That's pretty damn good. I'll change the settings again so you can see what the different light looks like on my face. So that's your warm, cool, and natural. I like this one the best. <laughs> All right, well, I am going to do my makeup and put this baby to the test. Oh my God, you can see everything this close up. 
This is the perfect lighting for plucking your eyebrows or squeezing pimples. <laughs> I'm so thrilled. Okay, I just finished doing my makeup. I am going to open the blinds and get some natural light happening in here and see if my makeup looks good. Not bad. All right, I know the lighting has been all kinds of whacked out throughout this video. Sorry about that. But that's what happens when you're testing out lighting. Overall, I am super happy with this mirror. I definitely like the natural light setting the best. I did change it to the warm and the cool while I was doing my makeup and the natural just gives the most natural version of what your face looks like. I would definitely prefer to also have my window open and have the natural light as well as the light from the mirror, but I know not everyone is able to have that when they're doing their makeup. So if you do have a dark room with no natural light and you need lighting for your makeup, I would definitely recommend this mirror. I think it is absolutely fantastic. I also love the size of the mirror. It's that perfect length. You don't have to like move around to fit into the frame. You can see everything. And I love the fact that it tilts. That's a really nice touch. My only thing is if you're in a really dark room with no natural light, I found you have to bring the mirror quite close to your face or lean in quite close because the lighting is a little bit different as you move back and forth. The closer you are, the more realistic it looks. So as I mentioned, when I use this mirror, I would definitely keep my window open just to get that nice natural light as well. All right, well, I, I hope I don't have damn lipstick on my teeth. Great, did I have lipstick on my teeth that entire time? Oh well. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching today's review. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Kmart videos, I have an entire playlist that I will link down below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And you can also come follow me over on Instagram. Otherwise, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. If you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.